Yo, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about my experience living at a mobile home park, okay? And I want to talk about this experience in order to share some wisdom and some perspective, guys, all right? It was a great learning experience. Like I look at most of my stages of life thus far, I look even in, especially in hindsight, but even in those moments, as I got a little older, even um, times where, where I would have thought in the future, you know what I mean, that looking back on it, it would have been a tough time, or while in that moment of time, I might have looked at it as, as an unfavorable situation. Um, I, I, I look back on those situations and I think about how much fun and how much of an experience that all of my stages of life is and how when you have the right perspective you really appreciate everything in life okay and you appreciate the ride and the journey all right now um when I was living in this mobile home park guys I was probably in I was in my mid-20s um it was in a Virginia area and at the time all the kids were were babies basically okay and so at this park there were like so many different cultures guys okay and, and backgrounds now in this part you know we had like uh you know rural whites um you had mexicans you had man you had people from all different north american countries like you had um it was just a melting pot of like Mexicans. Um, you had people from El Salvador. You had Brazilians, Cubans. All these people lived in the park. It was a pretty big park and it was a nice park too, which is going to be something that I touch on further in this video. Um, guys, and, and these people, everybody were, were living, everybody was humble, okay? Everybody had a humble existence while having a great existence, okay? So we were all living in, in trailers out there and everybody had their own personal space, everybody had their own lot. So you had your own little yard and your own personal space. Um, everybody respected each other out there and living out there for like two and a half, three years, I don't think I seen one physical incident, not to say anything didn't go on, but I didn't see anything for as many people for as many cultures and different ages and, and backgrounds, um, you would have thought, right, that it would it would have been more conflict and things like that. But people got along great, okay? We all helped each other out. It was its own small community, okay? Um, people would knock on each other's doors and offer things to each other. Um, people would help each other with their yards, okay? Um, everyone kind of got to know each other. If you lived out there for about at least a year, you know, and you were somewhat social, you kind of got to get to know everyone out there, okay? At least on a, um, a how you doing basis, you know, waving your hand or something like that. Um, and like I said, guys, what I, what I really want to hone in on is how you had what you would consider redneck white people that lived out there. You had what you would consider urban, hood, black people that lived out there. You would have um, what you would consider like poor Hispanics, you know, from like I said, from different um, countries where they might they, they may have lived very poor and things like that. Um, and like I said, it was no problem out there. We all got along. We all respected each other. OK, we all found commonalities. And the most important thing is genuinely I want to express how people are inherently and for the most part good, okay, and can get along. And some of these differences that are uh, that are publicized to us, that are promoted to us, that are propagandized to us sometimes, um, they really don't exist amongst the average person, okay. Um, if you're a white person, the average black person is probably not going to be any threat to you. If you're a black person, the average white person, is probably not going to be any threat. 
Um, if you're Mexican, a, the average black person, and so on and so on, it's probably not going to be any threat, right? Um, and so I think this was it was just a good learning opportunity, you know, for me to realize that, like I said, people are just at the core of themselves good people and just want to be respected, want to be able to live their own lives on their own accord, and... Um, and yeah, and just enjoy their, their lives and their families, guys. And so I think that was a good example of that. And coming from the background that I come back, I mean, I come from, that I came back to, but I, I come from originally, um, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to grow up around all these different facets and all these different cultures, okay? And um, another thing, like with, with my children, and think about generations, like, so, but my children did, though. You see what I mean? So my children could say that for uh, um, a significant amount of time of their childhood, you know, they grew up around um, Hispanics, hearing, hearing Hispanics, uh, Spanish talk being talked all the time, um, learning, being more familiar with different languages and different cultures and different customs, okay? But yet they all played together. They all learned from each other, okay? okay? And they all accepted each other, okay? When you see them all play together, they just all played together like they were all the same. You know what I mean? And that's a, um, that's something that this the, the the multicultural aspect that we are in and that we're going into. That's something that's that I enjoy seeing and that I'm um I'm excited about. You know what I mean? Like when we for most of us millennials on back, you know we grew up in um, segregated in the sense of you know, not really being able to understand each other's cultures, different cultures, and, and being around other people and different languages and, and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Um, because we do all affect each other, especially in the advent of the Internet. We all got a chance to affect each other and learn from each other. And so, you know, um, the Internet is the start, but then, you know, when you start to see it out and about, okay, in society, not being on the Internet, you know, it's really an appreciation for it, okay? Um, and another good thing, what was another good thing about living out there, man? Like like I said, just being able to understand people, it helps you. It, it really was a good opportunity for me to learn to understand people. And that, mind you, I've been getting dosage, dosages of this throughout my whole life, you know what I mean? Um, you know, for the most part, you know what I mean? I, I was only around my demographic, so to speak, but I did have a lot of opportunities, more than other children, a lot of other children, to be in diverse situations, okay? Like, for example, you know, post high school, you know what I mean? I got an opportunity to go to Fork Union Military Academy, another place where you have many different um, cultures, you know what I mean? Economic backgrounds, you know, societal backgrounds and statuses and all those different things. and. So that was a good opportunity. So I've had my um, a good share of opportunities um, to to be more diversified, you know what I mean, um, than a lot of people say growing up, okay? Um, all throughout my, you know, teen years and 20s and things like that. Um, what else I want to say about it? I mean, I think I made my point as far as just um, being accepting of other individual people, um, respecting everyone, um, giving them their chance as um, an individual, as a human being, um, to 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 earn their their respect and their admiration um, towards each other. You know what I mean, and learning each other and trusting each other as we all live together. You know what I mean, and so that's a, that was a good example of us all living together. Like I. I I gave you the different racial um, diversities and, and economic diversities that was in that park and backgrounds and, and cultures and things like that, you know, and, we, and it was a, um, a beautiful experience and a good time living out there. Um, and another thing, guys, I want to talk about how, like, uh, it also shows you the gratitude and and appreciation that other people that come from more humble backgrounds have, okay? And it teaches us a lesson in humility, and it reminds us to be humble 
and appreciative and grateful for what we do have too because it was also a good way of thinking about and looking at how and it, it shared you know it, it, it the whole experience shared this perspective with me and, and gave me this perspective of you know being around strong families these are people who weren't living in mansions right um real big nice houses so to speak but um they were homes okay they were homes where the bodies of the families were considered the home so you could be living in a real big house but if it's just you it's lonely it's not much of a family right but you could be living in a shack and if it's eight people living in that shack that that love each other and that all got good energy good vibes um then that that love permeates and that is the home and you see those values in a lot of people from um, more humble countries okay and it just and it shared how it shared how you can see how these people under any circumstances wh whether we were living in some rich gated community or whether we were living in that mobile home part it showed how people had a certain amount of class no matter what their economic situation was and they had a different set of morals and values a good set of morals and values and foundation okay and then you can always bid you that's something that's a sturdy foundation that you can build on okay um so yeah guys hopefully this was an insightful video share some perspective make you think about like the uh, multi multicultural aspect of our country um and and things like that yeah all right guys peace